Great players don't even have any, like Johnny Chan or Doug C. So it's nothing to be took lightly. You know, I've been fortunate here on the WPT. Three players remain at Biloxi. We're coming back with more on the World Poker Tour. To make this final table, I never thought this would happen. It's always one of those things that you just dream about. Mr. Jerry Van Stridham. It's kind of surreal that it's happening so suddenly. We're back here on the World Poker Tour at the Bow Revage. And Jerry Van Stridham is doing quite well as three players remain. Well, he says, I never dreamed this would happen, but yet he's played five events, made the money three times. So it certainly looks to me like it could happen for this kid. And right now, Mike, he's the new chip leader with about 2.2, Hoyt with about 2.1, and the oil man, Jonathan Cannon, with about 2 million. Well, they've all got over 2 million in chips. You talk about a race to the finish. We are going to see it right here. Anybody's game. All right. Play goes to Jonathan Cantor. The Tulsa man, the businessman, and he is going to raise with just a 9-6 of hearts. Makes it 69,000. Jerry's coming right over the top here with an ace five. Makes it 2.30 to go, but look at this. Cowboy Hoyt picks up the eights. Well, the pot's been raised and re-raised. He doesn't know if the old man's got a real hand. It could come over the top yet again. So tough decision here with the mid pair for the Alabama Cowboy. Just going to get away from the hand. Michael. And look at this. Jonathan's going to gamble here with the 9-6 of hearts. Made the call. Man, that's a $160,000 call. Just wants to see a flop with a 9-6 of hearts. But what a flop for the youngster. Jerry has flopped top and bottom pair. He has got aces up. So what a re-raise he made right there with an ace-five offsuit. And he's going to bet 285000 Vince, the oil man better be careful here because if he makes a move now, he'll be hitting an oil slick or a dry oil well, one or the other. It would not be prudent on his part to try to make a move here because Jerry is not going anywhere with aces up. Jonathan said he's not in this tournament for the money. He's got enough money, he says. I'm here for the thrill of victory. Uh, he's made the lay down. Show me one time. I've actually heard that story before from other guys at the final table, but in this case, he told his wife to get on the private jet and come out and join him here this morning to watch him play at this final table. So I think he's telling the truth. I think the guy's got some do. <laughs> All right. Jerry, very nice there. Was asked to show his hand. He showed it to Jonathan. True gentleman at the table. Here we go. It's on Jerry again. He's got a 4-7 of diamonds this time. Yeah, he's going to raise with it. Makes it 60,000 to go, but that's not going to play with Hoyt here as he picks up an ace-queen. He comes right over the top of the youngster. That yeah, makes it 240,000. But Jonathan Cannon with a pretty decent king-10 of hearts. Well, Vince, he just called to re-raise a minute ago with the 9-6 of hearts. Cool. And he's going to call 240,000 cold here with a king 10. Yeah, Jerry quickly folded his hand, disgusted. So here we go. Oh, and it comes king right on the flop. So the oil man striking oil on this flop as he hits top pair. Point reaching for chips to make a continuation bet. Oh, uh, yep. Looks like 300,000. Well, the pot has over 550,000 in it, so Hoyt betting 300,000 here in hopes his man goes away. And that is a good poker face right there as his wife Linda watches on. Question to your raise, just call. He just calls. A little puzzled why if you call a raise before the flop of that hand and hit that flop, you don't raise here, but now a six comes off. Well, here, Hoyt wisely putting on the brakes and checking. I'm all in. Mm -hmm. and Jonathan going all in with the top pair. Hoyt is profiling here for some reason, just wants his opponent to think he's got something, I guess. 
comments you got there. Oh, boy. No chance he's going to call this with just ace high events. Cowboy's just standing up in his stirrups trying to look pretty. This is just a tactical move to try to indicate to his opponents that he has a hand. And when you bet me, you know, be careful because you might get played with when, in fact, it can't beat anything but a stone bluff here. And why would the guy call on the stone bluff on the flop? So Justin wants to see Mr. Oil sweat a little bit. He finally folds. Yep, there you go. Jonathan Cantor taking down that pot, and with it, the chip lead. And so far, he's starting to pick on Hoyt Corkins. We're coming back as three players remain here on the World Poker Tour. Tonight's World Poker Tour brought to you by FullTiltPoker.net. The Bowery Village is the jewel of the South. People that come here for the first time, they walk through the front doors and they say, wow. I'm telling you, it is the nicest casino by far. How important are poker players to the Beau Rivage? How important is the WPT event uh, to the poker world? It's always a thrill to compete on the WPT because you're competing against the greatest players in the world. The WPT is NBA. I'm telling you, it's the real stuff, and the weak players don't make it in the WPT. Welcome back to the World Poker Tour. We're at the beautiful Beau Rivage on the Gulf. And what a fantastic property here. The Annie's are going up to 5,000, blinds 20 and 40,000. And right now you can see our chip leader, Jonathan Cantor, the oil man with 2.7. Jerry Van Strydunk with 2.3. And look who's gone way down, Hoyt Corkins, down to about 1.3 million. He came to this final table as the big chip leader, and now he sits in third place with three players left. Well, the action has happened. Jerry with a quick fold. Hoyt with King Jack has raised. You can't blame him for raising with that hand in a small blind. No problem. And Mr. Oil with ace four is going to call the 105. King Jack up against ace four. We're flopping. And the flop comes nine, eight, seven. This gives Hoyt a gut shot straight draw. A 10 would give him a straight, but he's going to make the continuation bet. Raise. 120,000. And look at this. Jonathan is raising with that dangerous flop, Vince, with absolutely nothing but an ace four here. That's pretty impressive stuff here. Well, he's going to try to manhandle the cowboy here. Good instincts. 295. And look at this. Putting the pressure on the cowboy. 